Hello there everybody, I hope you're well, and today we're going to look at another league, we're going to look at just the top division this time of French football, as a little precursor to a video that's going to get released on Friday, and we're just going to be looking at the home shirts, because not every single sort of version of the shirts has been released yet, but the season has just begun, and I have all of the home shirts. Some of the images are not perfect, but you can still get an idea of what's going on. And I'm going to tell you how much that they retail for, similar to the ones that we did for England. We're going to be just focusing on the stadium versions, because some clubs only have those, whereas some clubs have both them and the pro versions. And um, we're going to give them a little bit of a rating, and I'll try and give my own views on them. Uh, but uh, don't be expecting it to be too detailed, because I'm trying to make this video sort of quick as I can. So let's start first with AC Ajaccio, which is their home shirt typically play in red and white. Problem with this one is, usually when you buy it as just a fan, I don't think there's an option for you to get sort of a main sponsor. I do generally believe they play in one with a main sponsor. They have something sort of on the chest. But right now, it looks very, very plain. So you can pick this up for seven, uh, sorry, 69 euros. They're all going to be in euros here because that's just generally what they advertise it as because they use the euro in France. How about that? And I'm going to give this a rating of two, mainly because it's just a very generic shirt. A lot of their previous shirts are very, very similar, and it just doesn't do anything for me, which is probably the reason why that they do sell their shirt for the cheapest in the whole of France. Now, if we go to the next team, we have Auxerre, and this is their home shirt, and they are playing in white with these blue trims on here. Now, there is a little bit of a sort of embossed version of the cross that is present in their crest, and there are some French words that are sort of floating in there. I couldn't quite figure out what they meant, mainly because I don't speak French. Now, this one retails for 79 euros, so a little bit more, and I'm going to give this a rating of 7, just because it's a very clean shirt. It's it's nice. I'm not a huge fan of the collar, but, um, you know, it's just the embossed detailing that Macron are very very keen on doing now we have Angers this is a shirt that retails at 79 euros similar to the Auxerre one of course it's Kappa manufactured now it's a pretty simple one to be honest and I can probably expect that this one to be very very elasticated and stretchy similarly to the one I have from them also I quite like the design how it starts at black and sort of transitions into this sort of, sort of chevron stripey sort of effect down the bottom that's quite cool. So I'm going to give this one a rating of six. I think it's um, it's decent. You know, it, it's not really much you can do with this particular shirt. It kind of reminds me of a Charleroi shirt as well. Um, but you know, it, it's clean. It's lovely. AS Monaco. So they retail those for 85 euros. I believe they do have a pro version also. It's your typical Monaco shirt with your sort of red and white half and half sash uh, effort. I like the collar on this one, it's quite cool, and then you've got your little red trims on the sleeves there. I'm going to give this one a rating of 8. It's nice, it's clean, it's one of the better ones. I think the Monaco one I have is similar styling. Um, it's just, it, it's cool, and the, to be honest, the sponsor actually looks pretty, pretty nice also. Next we have Clermont Foot. They are retailing their shirts 85 euros also, which I thought was a little bit steep considering the sort of quality of players that they have. But you know, I suppose if they want to do that, they can do what they want. All sport manufactured now. I think this is their first season with them. And you've got this interesting sort of um, diagonal blue stripe effect running across the front there. I do like the, uh, the way they've done it on the uh, cuffs there. And um, you know what? I'm going to give this one a rating of six. It's it's a good shirt. I think there are better ways of doing it, but um, it's not terrible one bit. Now we have Ta. And this shirt also retails for 85 euros. It's Lecoq Sportif. I kind of anticipated it to be that price because Lecoq Sportif shirts generally do cost a little bit more. But it's really, really nice. I love it. I mean, it's blue, so I'm always naturally drawn to it anyway. It looks like on the side there's a bit of gold and white, something on, on side panels. And you've got this sort of, uh, sort of very subtle striping going down the front there. It does have that Winamax sponsor, which if you're a Bordeaux fan, you probably don't like. Um, but you know what? They were kind of right at the end of the day. It's okay, it's cool, it's nice, I like it. I'm going to give this one a rating of 8. I think it's just a really nice shirt, depending on... I don't think I've ever had a Lecoq Spot t-shirt apart from the uh, Manta de Massa one. So if it's a similar sort of uh, material and feel to that, then this one would be really, really good. Now we have uh, SE Lorient. This shirt retails for 89 euros. It's an Umbro manufactured one, so it's quite a lot of money for a team that's... You know, not not the biggest of teams, and generally do float sort of between sort of first and top division. This home shirt is in their typical orange. Don't have the most amazing of images for this one, but it has a little pattern and motif running across the front. I'll admit the third shirt of theirs is actually better than the uh, the home shirt and better than the away shirt. So if I was to pay that money, I'd be buying the third shirt. This one, I'm going to give it a rating of six. Like it's slightly better than average. 
but um, they've had some better ones over the last few years. Next we have uh, Nantes, and this one retails for 85 euros. This one is another quality shirt. I mean, it's Macron, so it's what you'd expect. They have, it's very subtle, it's very difficult to tell, but once you see them, you really appreciate it. There are some embossed sort of floral work, kind of looks like pineapples, but I think it is some sort of uh, floral pattern that's running across front. It looks really, really nice, especially when you get the close-up image on it. You've got the trims, you've got that sort of darker green, which I think is also one that's present on their away shirt, and you've got the white, and it's just it's just really, really nice. Not always do really clean shirts, and this is another one. I'm gonna give this a rate of nine. It's just a beautiful shirt. I do need one of theirs. Could this be one of the one I pick up? Lille shirts. So this one retails for 86 euros. It's New Balance. I uh, have one New Balance shirt, I believe, but it's not going to be this one. I'm not going to be making a second. This is just, I really don't like this at all. It just looks silly. I think it's a sponsor doesn't help. Not, just, no disrespect to Kazoo. I'm sure they're very good people, but it just really, really doesn't work on a shirt. These white stripes at the bottom here, why, why, why is it so many of them? I don't understand big cuffs I think like this one is a terrible one their third shirt is immaculate like that's a beautiful shirt this one is uh, is unfortunately not for me I'm gonna give it a rating of three so yeah that's, it's not for me Montpellier this one retails for 80 euros brand new and it's your typical Montpellier shirt so you've got you know your few extra sponsors dotted around you've got the uh, navy and the orange and this sort of pattern there have been some good versions of this and there have been some okay versions of it over the last few years. This one I'm going to put in the category of okay. Like I look at it and go, okay, it's a bit different. It's not typical. It's not just your standard shirt, but it's nothing that jumps out of me straight away. So we'll just run down the middle and go for a five on that one. Now we have Nice. This one retails at 90 euros, which is the most expensive. They are joint. There are a few others that are selling them at 90 euros. And um, it's Macron, so it's going to have a good feeling. And it's got this interesting way of doing a horizontal, I mean, so the vertical stripes with sort of broken up in each corner with sort of just a general black body. But I'm going to give this a five. I quite like the trims on the collar, but it's just, yeah. And these home shirts, they don't really ever appeal to me too greatly, to be honest. Marseille shirt, this is another one that retails at 90 euros. I believe they also have a player version, which is a lot more. It's Puma manufactured. It's clean. It's quite cool. It's it's a white shirt that sometimes is difficult to sort of pull off. This one's pretty simple. They have gone crazy sometimes, generally on their away shirts. It's another Kazoo sponsored one, although I believe they're having some issues with sort of um, sponsoring some things. They may have to change some teams. Um, this one, I'm going to go straight down the middle also, give it a five. I think possibly if you see it in person, it might be a six. Um, but it's it's just a simple white shirt, isn't it? Now we have Leon. This is their home shirt, of course, and it retails for 90 euros. So it's another one of those very expensive ones. And I'm going to give this one a rating of six because it's sort of straight down the line with this one. You've got this lovely, interesting um, half and half, which I think has the same styling as, was it Munch and Gladbach that had this one? That was quite interesting. It's, it worked on there. I think I prefer the green using that more necessarily than the red and the blue on this one. It's got a cool way they've done the three stripe. I like the way they've done the alternate colors. That's quite nice, but I'm going to just give this one a six. So it's slightly better than average. PSG home shirt. It's in retails for 89 euros. And I'm not going to lie to you. I just don't like this one at all. I think PSG home shirts. I always prefer the away or the third shirts, just generally how it is for me. I think it's because I don't necessarily like the navy. It's just too far away from blue. Centralized logos. I like the fact that the Kataya Aways has split up between that sort of um, vertical band, but it is that like template that is just so difficult to get right. I'm going to give this one a rating of three. It's If I didn't have a PSG shirt, this I, I would really be struggling if I had to buy this one. It'd have to be like five pounds. I have Lance. This is a interesting one because they're retailing at 79, 90 euros. What a random figure that is. But it's Puma, and they're doing that another one of those half and halves that they seem to be sort of sort of promoting this season. So you've got more of a solid body at the top with the red and then the yellow. Then you have that sort of horizontal splitting band, and then it goes to these pinstripes at the bottom there. I do like yellow on a football shirt. I think there's maybe just a little bit too much going on at the top. Color's quite cool. I like that one. So I'm going to give this one a rating of six. It's probably more of a six and a half, closer to the seven. But I think it's just that it just seems like it's something at the top just feels a little bit off. But it's still a good shirt. Now we have Strasbourg. This is a shirt that retails at 89 euros. It's quite a lot of money for a Strasbourg shirt. And you know what? I feel like every single season they release the same shirt. Uh, I've been needing to add one of those their shirts to my collection. And for the most part, it's always been the home one I've seen. 
and I just think I don't get excited by these at, at all. It's just a very simple Adidas shirt. You've got this sort of pinstriping effect. I'm just going to give this one a rating four. Um, I just feel like they need to try something a little bit more. Though I think their third shirt, I think it was, is, is a little bit better this season. Now we have uh, Breast. This one is a shirt that retails 89 euros also. Similarly, I feel like these are the sort of teams that I need to add to my collection. And they are sort of the most expensive ones to get, which is probably the reason why I've never bought one yet. But this one's quite cool. They play red and it's got this interesting Adidas template with sort of these I don't know, bricks sort of going up and down sort of vertically on that one. And I quite like the ship on the bottom as well. That's quite cool. So I think at some point I'll grab one of those. Though this one is present on all of the shirts, the ship. And I think possibly is it the third shirt or the away shirt, whichever one is the black and cold one. That one's a nice one. I'm going to give this one a rating of six because I think it's it's pretty cool. Now we have Reams. This one is a shirt that retails at 74.95. I think they also have a pro version which is actually i think this shirt but they advertise their stadium one as the pro one also which is a bit cheeky i don't think you should necessarily be doing that it's an umbro shirt you've got these very thin sort of uh, trims that run across the collar and on the sleeves there you've got the main red body and the white on your oops on the uh, on the uh, sleeves there it's okay it's fine i'm gonna give it a five because it's very run of the mill that is then we have ren this is the uh, penultimate shirt. This one also retails for 90 euros. Possibly they have a pro version. I think usually they do, but I don't think I actually saw it on the website. This one is a Puma shirt, and usually they do really nice home shirts. But I must admit, this one, hmm, no, I don't get it really. I like an off-center band, but the fact that it's just sort of, it, I get it that it's below the crest, but it just kind of doesn't fit in with the sponsor there. And other than that, it's pretty plain. You've got black on the uh, cuffs. I like that sort of, uh, blank collar but um I, i'm gonna go for a four on this one i feel like they can they definitely can do and usually do better and then we'll finish off with toulouse this is their uh, uh home shirt which is retailing at 80 euros it's a craft manufactured shirt which is a, which is a retail i actually haven't had yet i do have a toulouse shirt actually it's the one in the background that i should have really changed like three months ago but it's just that it, is a really nice shirt this one is, it's fine. You've got these sort of pinstripes. I kind of like the fact that the uh, sponsor goes between them, but I think it's generally because it's probably got a block around it. Um, the colors are cool. I like the two different tones of purple on the uh, cuffs there. But I must admit that if I was to buy this one or the away one, the away one is the one I'd be going for because that's possibly one of the best shirts released this season. That's really, really nice. So I'm going to give this one a five as well, straight down the line there. But that is the end of the video for it. They are all of the home shirts that the uh, French players team and sort of fans will be wearing at some point during the season there are some pretty nice ones there there's not too many terrible terrible ones i think it's just generally if you compare them to a few, from a few seasons you can see what they can and cannot do and i feel like some teams have kind of let their fans down a little bit but i guess it means next season might look even better when compared to the rubbish ones from this season let me know if there are any of these are on your list to grab at some point during the season and let me know your thoughts on them as always but as always Thank you for watching my videos. Have a great time. I think I'll just say great week because I'm probably going to throw this one midweek. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.